Hey y'all, Chef Shay. So I know I'm late to the party about the grinder sandwich. I just got around to doing it. So I am going to do a salmon grinder sandwich. I've seen a couple of those floating around and I thought that would be really good to try and to make. And of course I'm gonna be using some of Divine Cuisine's products. So for the sauce that you put on the grinder sandwich, I'm gonna be using the Divine Cuisine Romalot sauce, another way you can use it. And for my salmon, I'm gonna do a little bit of jerk. I'm gonna do the jerk sauce instead of the rub because the jerk sauce is a little sweeter and kind of just glaze that on there. So you'll see how I use both of these products. So let's get started. And so we have some Tony's Creole seasoning. I'll have the measurements on the website. We got some onion powder. A little bit of sea salt. Garlic powder. You know my favorite seasoning powder, uh, pepper. And a pinch of salt. I use kosher salt. You can use whatever salt you'd like to use. And now we're gonna go ahead and pan, pan sear it. Okay, so I'm gonna pan sear just the salmon right now just to get it a little crust on it. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven at 425 probably for about, these are pretty thick salmon, so it may be about 15 or so minutes, I'll check it. And then no, I'm not gonna have the skin on. It's just easier to take the skin off once it's all diced and cooked. I just take the skin off so it's for this grinder sandwich. Put a little bit of butter at the tablespoon. I just wanted a nice golden um, color. And so now we're gonna put it in the oven at 425 degrees. Okay, y'all, so I'm getting ready to use the Divine Cuisine jerk sauce, just the glaze on the fish. The fish is done. So we're just gonna put a little bit on the fish. Now I'm gonna put it back in there just for like less than a minute, just to kind of, you know, get the salmon a little whatever. So it's just less than a minute, I'm gonna put it in there. Maybe like 45 seconds, because it's pretty much done. And I, I turned off the stove. So it's just in there with no stove on. No. So I'm getting ready to make like the lettuce, mayonnaise or whatever it is concoction i don't know what they call it the the slaw that goes on the sandwich so i just got some iceberg lettuce iceberg is not that great for you but for this sandwich i thought it would be the best lettuce so i got iceberg lettuce i got some red onions so i just kept them in like little circles i'm gonna use i know a lot of people were using like italian dressing so i have the ken's northern italian dressing that i'm going to use and then I'm also going to mix that with the Romalot sauce. So we're going to just mix all that together and that's what we will put on the sandwich. So real easy, simple. Let's get started. This might have been a little too late. We'll have to edit that. So we have our clean lettuce. I just cleaned it. And then I'm gonna put a few onions in here. And you can put as many as you want. You can slice it thinner if you want, you know, thinner. 
you know, just, I'll just dress it with it. And then we have our Italian dressing. for the aroma lot we're gonna put in here we're gonna mix it all together I guess I could get a better utensil hold please Okay, and then we're gonna set this to the side and go to the next step. So I'm getting ready to make some garlic butter, so I have some garlic paste. This is always handy, y'all, if you ain't got no garlic on hand or just stuff like this. I got some butter and I got some fresh parsley. And so all you're gonna do is you're gonna take some of the butter, maybe like two tablespoons of butter, put it in a micro microwave safe something you're gonna take some of your garlic paste put it in there we're gonna melt this and then we'll add the parsley in there and then we're gonna brush it over the bread we got this melted garlic butter and i just chopped up some fresh parsley I'm just going to stir that all together. And there's your garlic butter. Stop it. You don't have to do all this butter, but I want to do. Probably a better utensil I could be using too, but. Y'all get the drift. Okay, so now we're getting ready to put this. Hold on. I just want a little bit up here, y'all. I'm saying, child, you soaking in your butter. I love butter. Okay, we're done with that. I'm gonna put this in the oven. You can put it on a baking sheet. I'm just gonna use some foil, but you can, if you, you wanna be fancy, get your little baking sheet and put it on there. And we're gonna put this in the oven at 425 degrees. Bread is semi-toasted, pretty toasty. So, you know, we're going to put some provolone cheese on this. So, I'm put on the top portion. And we're going to go back and put that back in the oven for a few minutes just to get the cheese toasty. I mean, cheese melted. So, it's nice and toasty. I'm going to take it off of here and just put it on this board while we assemble our grinder. Okay, y'all, we got our jerk salmon kind of tore apart right there. And now we're going to put our, our onion and lettuce mixture. Child, how am I going to cut this? Then we have our tomatoes. Mm 
And then I'm getting ready to cut it. I'm getting ready to go in. It's messy, it's coming apart. But I'm about to go in. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. 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 Okay, that salmon's on, on point. Got a little bit of the jerk to a little bit of sweet, not a lot. And what really makes it is those onions and that lettuce with the rum a lot and the Italian dressing. You got to make the grinder. If y'all have not made it, I know that you guys keep hearing everybody say how good it is. This is going to go into one of my things that I'm going to eat all the time. The salmon grinder. You can find it at divinecuisine.com. Divine Cuisine Roma Lot that went into the lettuce mixture and we glazed it with the Divine Cuisine jerk sauce. Must make, must have the bomb. I'm about to go in for another, another bite.